Hey everyone, my name is Vincent and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're completely new. And today I have another unpacking video for you guys, but it's super, super, super special. You may already know by the title of this video what is in the box. So this is no briar, this is no resin. This is ordered from Think Geek. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. This is a limited edition model and I know from the artist that it is the number one top selling item at the moment on their website. So I'm pretty sure it will sell out really fast and when I first saw pictures of this figure I was like oh my god I need it and within the next hour I actually bought one so I'm really happy that I did it. I'm like all in my unicorn themed um, mood because this is a figure of the last unicorn. Okay I'm just gonna unpack it while talking and there are actually two figures in here because one is for a friend of mine one is for me. And it was delivered right to my door, which is really strange. Um, so thank, thank you, US, UPS. Um, but I still had to pay custom on my door, which I never had to do in my entire life. So custom was like another $30 and shipping was like 20. So it's not too bad. Um, and the figures aren't even that expensive. So I paid like $50 for each. So with like shipping and stuff and splitting it with my friends, it's like 75 for each. So it's not that bad. I'm just super super excited. Okay, there's just like packing stuff in here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Whoa. This is a figure of the last unicorn and this movie is from the 80s and it is my all-time favorite movie of all times. Um, honestly, this movie inspired me so much as a kid and it still does today. So I never thought there would be something like a figure ever coming out so um like 30 years after the movie was released so i'm super super happy yeah just overwhelmed i'm super excited um and this is actually a gift i made to myself for graduating yesterday from college because you have seen like a lot of unpacking videos from me but all the horses i did unpack in these videos are like horses i bought from money i made within the hobby AK from selling resin, selling customs and stuff like that, but never for my pocket money, if you want to say it this way. So um, this girl is actually paid for my pocket money <laughs> because all the money I made within the hobby is um, like on the side for Briarfest. So I didn't want to get that money off from my Briarfest money. So I just bought her for my pocket money so I can treat myself for graduating college. So yeah, this is a really special present for me. And I love this box. I know I'm talking so much, but oh my gosh, this is so freaking gorgeous. Best scene of the entire movie. And then it says Sync Greek on here. <clears throat> and there you can actually see the figure already. And <clears throat> I'm just gonna read out loud what it says on the box. There was never been a time without unicorns. We live forever. We are old. We are as old as the sky, old as the moon. We can be hunted, trapped. We can even be killed if we leave our forest, but we do not vanish. Am I truly the last? Oh my gosh, this is a movie feelings right here. Um, and it actually says it's sculpted by Christina Lucas Frenches which um, I kind of knew before and I stumbled over this figure on Facebook and I'm so glad I did because otherwise I probably would never have ever found out about her. And um, yeah, just let's gonna open her. I'm so excited because the box is so freaking pretty already. Oh my God. She's like super, super well packed as you can see. And like this plastic. Oh my God, there she is. She actually comes with the base as well. There she is. Oh my God. Camera, please focus on this gorgeous little girl. Oh my gosh. She's so gorgeous. I just cannot even. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so she is really, really light. I believe she's hollow, just like a briar. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. She's kind of small, as you know. Um, I will just get a traditional lighter on so I can compare the size. Look at the eye details. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is so her. I love the paint job, I love the sculpture. Look at the mane, this is like so much like the animation. I absolutely adore this. This is just gorgeous. Just freaking gorgeous. I think this is the prettiest model I ever, ever bought because I'm so excited. Um, and my camera is not focusing on it at all. The 
super cute purple hoofs and she's so light it's so insane she looked on the pictures like a porcelain model or something but she actually is um plastic which is uh described in the description so it's not like super um surprisingly for me now so then we have the base which is super nice as well um which is really like this one picture in the movie so she really did sculpt it the way it looks in the movie which is really nice and then it has a lot of stuff on the back so it actually says that this and it is the limited edition model from think geek okay so there is actually a pin in here i'm just gonna get closer um there's actually a pin in here so you can get that front half in there i think it's just supposed to go in really really slightly and then she is on her base I absolutely adore her. Look how pretty she is. She isn't like really standing really secure on her base, but I wouldn't like transport her on a base anyways. But um yeah, it's a light it's a nice um touch for the decoration. So freaking pretty. I wasn't quite happy with the ears at first, I confess, because I think they are like a little bit too bunny or big. Um, compared to the original character, but I think it really does suit the whole figure. Okay, and what I also kind of realized right now is that the tail and the mane is actually made out of a different material than the whole body, because the whole body is really solid, so you cannot bend it, but the mane and tail is actually, like, bendable, as you may or may not can see if my camera would focus. So I think that is nice, because, um, therefore it is not that easy to break, because that hair strains are like really tiny so they could break really easily same with the tail so i think it's a really nice touch that they made these out of a different material so she's way more um safe to travel safely to like a show or whatever so the only bra i kind of have is the flash mold which is like a pony i believe so she does look kind of similar to this one so she isn't like super tiny and I think she is actually for traditional and the perfect scale because I think she's supposed to be really small and fragile in the movie. So um, I absolutely love her. Like, I'm so happy right now. All my dreams came true. <laughs> Finally, I can die in peace with like a last unicorn um, figure. I planned on making a custom one for so long, but it's so nice to have like an actual figure from the movie. And I really hope they do make more stuff from the movie because I think there are still so many people who love the movie and I really would like them to make more uh, because basically there is only like t-shirts and prints and stuff because back then it wasn't even that typical to make so much fandom stuff from one movie. But I really like that so many people are still interested in the movie even though it's quite old but Again, it's my all-time favorites, and um, yeah, I will put the link in the description below for the shop, but I cannot guarantee at any point you're watching this video that, that this figure is still available. But if you can get her, I absolutely would. She was only $50, and I think that's a really, really, really decent price um, for her for a paint job, and that she is a limited model. So if you can, just get her because i really really approve <laughs> as a really strong last unicorn lover i really approve so she has this like pearly kind of look which is really hard to see in the pictures but she's actually like really shiny and oh my god i absolutely love her so um anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i will hopefully see you all very soon again my little unicorns <laughs> bye